Hello everybody, thank you so much for tuning into my channel today. If this is your first time here, welcome. My name is Lydia. And if you're one of my amazing returning subscribers, welcome back. Today I'm going to be reviewing Banana Republic, Tobacco, and Tonka Beans. So if you guys want to learn more about this intriguing fragrance, go ahead and stay tuned. <music> You guys when I found this fragrance I feel like I literally struck gold because I was actually able to pick up two fragrances of this line and I did not buy them from Banana Republic surprisingly I was able to find them at my local Burlington one day I was like shopping with my mom and she really wanted to go into Burlington and we go in there I wasn't really excited to go in there because usually I don't have much success with Burlington as far as like clothes or the fragrances and the one that I usually go to is literally just ran through so I was just in there just like well kind of why am I here but when we went up to the checkout line like they have all their fragrances lined up right before you walk into the actual line to get to the registers and I saw these boxes I think they had three other fragrances from this line just tons of them on the shelf and they were reasonably priced. I think I got this one for like $19. They're 19 or 20 bucks. So I was really shocked to find them at that price as well. So I had to get them. I am literally a sucker for packaging and this packaging is just immaculate. It is extremely well made. There is this nice, almost like papyrus type material that the label is printed on, on the box, which I love. And it has a nice texture to it. The actual box is kind of smooth, it's matte, and there's this cute little, almost like satin ribbon tab that allows you to open the box. And once the box is open, the fragrance actually sits down in this almost like styrofoam cutout of the shape of the fragrance bottle. But it's still the same color on the inside as the outside, so it really gives it a nice sleek design. Now these are unisex fragrances, and I don't want to go so far as to say that they're kind of supposed to be dupes of different Tom Ford fragrances. But when I did see the name of this fragrance, I was assuming that it would be similar to Tom Ford Tobacco Vanille. So that was one of the main reasons why I wanted to try this fragrance. You do get a lot of fragrance for the price as well. This is a 2.5 ounce bottle. Now without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the actual details of this fragrance. Now, this fragrance was launched in 2019, so it has been out for a little bit of a minute now. And it's classified as an amber spicy fragrance. In the top notes, there's Maribel Plum and Pear. In the middle notes, there's Tobacco Leaf and Coconut. And in the base, there's tonka bean and vanilla. Now I'm going to go ahead and give this a spray and let you guys know what it smells like to me. Now I have worn this fragrance on my skin, but spraying it on the paper, as soon as I spray it, I do get a lot of the tobacco notes, as well as a hint of the pear, but to me it almost smells like a bitter pear. Not super juicy or sweet. And it's almost like not even really noticeable. I don't smell any of the coconut at all. But you do get a lot of the vanilla as well as the tonka bean, which I really like. It is a spicier, zestier type fragrance. But that tobacco note is very prevalent. So far in my collection, I only have one other fragrance with a tobacco note in it. And it is a very distinct smell. I feel like if you've never smelled the tobacco note in a fragrance before you really wouldn't know what it is but if you have and you smell this you'll know immediately what that note is in here because it stands out a lot in this fragrance the tonka bean and the vanilla kind of rounded out just a little bit better and kind of tame a little bit of that spiciness and even though it does have sweeter notes in it like the tonka bean and the vanilla those tobacco notes and the spiciness of it still stay throughout the entire time you're wearing this fragrance, which is very interesting to me. As I mentioned before, these fragrances are unisex, so they really work for anybody. If you're someone who really isn't totally a fan of sweet, sweet fragrances, but you still kind of want a gourmand type scent, 
that's not loaded up with vanilla and marshmallow and all kinds of other stuff i feel like this is a really good option because it's more on the spicier side and because of those notes i feel like this fragrance will be perfect for fall and winter in the spring and summer months i feel like you could work this as well but mainly like as a nighttime and evening type scent and maybe as a special occasion type scent i can't really see myself wearing this if I was like going out to brunch or something or if I was on the beach, I cannot see myself wearing this at all. But it smells delicious and intriguing and just perfect for the fall and winter. And this is another one of those fragrances that I feel like would be better suited for like an older, more mature crowd. I cannot see a child walking around smelling like tobacco and tonka bead, but I mean, if that's your thing, go ahead and do it, but this is definitely, in my opinion, geared more towards a mature crowd. There's not a lot of sweetness to it. Like I mentioned before, the vanilla as well as the taco bean add a hint of it, just so it's not so overpowering and in your face. But there's not so much of it in there that... It smells like a super sweet gourmand type scent, if that makes sense. If you're somebody who loves Tom Ford Tobacco Vanille, I think that this is a really good option if you're looking for something a little bit on the cheaper side, but that'll give you that Tom Ford type vibe. I feel like this is a really cute option. So I really like this one. So now that we're in fall and heading into winter, I will definitely be wearing this fragrance a lot more and incorporating it and trying to layer it with other fragrances that I have in my collection already. Hey you guys, as always, I will have this fragrance linked in my Amazon storefront, which will be linked in the description box. So definitely check that out if you guys want to pick it up and try it out for yourselves. And also, if you guys have tried this fragrance or any of the other Banana Republic fragrances, let me know what you guys think about them down below in the comment section. So you guys, that was my review of Banana Republic, Tobacco, and Tonka Bean. I hope that you guys really enjoyed this video, and as always, I hope to see all of you guys next time. Bye.